Good morning, lovely people. Welcome to this video. This is uh, Mr. Myosis, and I'm talking about solving a system of equations in three variables. Now, I have two videos of this out. Uh, one of them um, I do on a board, so you can see me doing it. And if you want to want to go to that, I'll have a link up on the top of this video. And on the other video, I'll have a link to this video. So this one has this one has more examples. I only did one example on the other one, and I'm gonna try to go through this as quick as possible because. Um, uh, they're, they're kind of a lot of work. Uh, the good thing is, though, that if you know how to do systems of equations using substitution and elimination with two variables, this is just it's the same thing, only more work, okay? So um, this is just using uh, algebraic methods, substitution and elimination. I will do a video. There's another video that if you're working on um, in pre-calculus or you're working on, on some advanced algebra 2 and you're dealing with the Gauss-Jordan method using matrices, um, that's on another video too. You can go and, and take a look at my playlist for pre-calculus and you can find that. So let's take a look at uh, what we're dealing with. And what we're going to be dealing with is this situation here where we're going to have one solution when we have three planes that intersect. And, and a plane is, is a three-dimensional figure that's just a flat surface. And we usually have x, y, and z, you know, three, three, uh, three variables. Those are the, those are the, uh, the points, or I'm sorry, the uh, variables for that, um, and the axes. And we can have a few ways that we can do that. We can either have a point where the all three planes intersect at one point, all three planes can intersect at a line, um, or or they they might not intersect all together. You know, two of them might intersect, but you know they might not all intersect together. These two again intersect, and two of them are parallel. And then you know all three can be parallel too. So these are examples of what we have when we deal with three dimensions. Um, now this is what you want to do to solve. You want to make sure that you can eliminate one variable to start off with and you're going to select a pair of equations and what I'm going to say this is that you're going to take uh, maybe the top equation and the middle equation and eliminate the variable and the middle equation and the bottom equation and eliminate the variable. And you'll see what I mean by that in just a second. Um, then you're going to solve a new system of equations from steps one and two and so you're going to you're going to, you're going to end up with just the two equations and, and two variables that you can solve then uh, work backwards and find all the values and just by plugging things in okay um, write the solution as x y z so let's take a look at our first example here solve the system of equations now you look at this and you go oh my god there's so much stuff there how am i going to possibly tackle this problem well, again, what I'm going to say is we're going to use two equations and eliminate something. Now, what I recommend is you take a look at the coefficients, so all the numbers in front of the x, y, and z's, and see which one might already match up. The ones that already match up, that's the one that you're going to want to eliminate first. So let's use, uh, let's use row, um, equation 1 and equation three and in order for me to eliminate the z I'm gonna to need to make all of these negatives down here so I'm gonna make negative 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 so I'm just multiplying this whole thing by negative one alright and what I like to do is rewrite these guys on the side here so 5x plus 3y plus 2z equal oops equals 2 and then I'm gonna write this guy right underneath so negative x minus 4y minus 2z equals negative 16. If you're asking where I got the negative, it's just because I multiplied by the negative there. And then I'm going to add straight down using elimination like I've done before. And watch. Boom, boom. Eliminates the Z. Awesome. That's exactly what I wanted to do, right? I wanted to eliminate one of the variables. Now, we've got two variables here, so we're not, you know, we got to eliminate Z twice. We've eliminated Z once. So now what we're going to do is use the middle guy because we haven't used it yet with either of the top ones uh, or the top or the bottom one. I think because, um, you know, this is an X, so I'm going to use the bottom one. So I'm going to use these two guys now. Okay, I'm going to use these two. Okay, so in order, in order to do that, I'm going to need to multiply this middle one by two so that these two match up. Okay, so I'm just using the elimination method just like I've done before. So I'm going to rewrite this guy right down here. 4x plus 2y minus 2z equals 10. Okay? And then I'm going to add these two together. Okay, not the negative one, the original one. So I'm going to have 5x and I'm going to have plus 6y. And then see the z's cancel out here again. And I have 26. So now 
I've eliminated the z and I have an xy and an xy. So I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to write him over here. 5x plus 6y equals 26. All right, so now that I got these two dudes together, I'm going to take and I'm going to uh, eliminate one of the variables here. All right, so again, I'll, like I said, you, you want to eliminate, 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 right? We want to take two, eliminate the z, take the other two, eliminate the z, then put these guys together and eliminate another thing. Um, I'm going to say right here, easiest to multiply this by 6, right? So let's go ahead and multiply that by 6, and I'm going to get 24x minus 6y equals negative... 60, 70, 84, and 5x plus 6y equals 26. If it sounded like I was straining because I was using my brain power to try to multiply 6 times negative 14 in my head. Okay, uh, then we're going to add straight down. So all we're doing is using the elimination method, guys. Boom, boom. Y's cancel out. 29x equals negative uh, 60, 58. All right, divide both sides by 29. And x equals negative 2. All right, so now that I got x equal to negative 2, I'm going to plug this guy back in here. It doesn't matter, but one of these two. So I'm going to have 4 times negative 2 minus y equals negative 14. And I'm going to go ahead and solve for y. negative 8 minus y equals negative 14 at 8 negative y equals negative 6 so y equals 6 and now I'm going to take this guy and this guy and plug them back let's say let's plug them back in the middle one it doesn't matter which one okay and then this guy right here right there my sound effects, you know, math videos could, could have such good sound effects. All right, and then now we're going to solve for z, 2 minus z, or how they say it in Canada, z. All right, so those of you that are watching from overseas, z is equal to negative 3. Okay. So now we're going to put it as negative 2, 6, negative 3, and that's our answer. Okay, so again, follow the steps. We've got, we're going to eliminate a variable twice. We're going to have to use two things to eliminate a variable so that we get two equations right here with two variables and then eliminate again, eliminate again. So it's a lot of elimination, guys. It's a lot of elimination. Um, let's move on. We've got, oh, I only got three. I'm going to try to get through as many of these as I can, all right? So um, I encourage you to try to practice this one, all right? So now this one, we're already, this ver this one right here does not have an X. So it's, it's in our best interest to eliminate using these two to eliminate the X variable, right? So I'm going to rewrite this one over here by multiplying by a negative one. And then I'm going to take this guy over here. The reason I say it's in our best interest is because once we eliminate this x here, whoa, z eliminates too. Bonus. That's helpful. So uh, it's 12. Why? Oh my goodness! Look at that. We already got a very. We already got one. That's cool. Because then it saves us a whole lot of time. And people, time is money, right? So we save some time. We save some money. So plug y in here. And we're going to choose the second one here because then all we have to do is find z for z. It's, sounds kind of like fuzzy, right? Negative fuzzy. Negative fuzzy equals uh, um, 16. So like I said before, z. z is equal to negative 4 here. All right. And now we're going to plug both of these guys into um, let's use the bottom equation here so we're gonna have um, x plus 6 times 3 because I plugged the 3 in here for y and plus negative 4 equals 20 All right, so x plus 
18. Oops. I'll just put plus negative 4. Okay. X plus 14 equals 20. Subtract 14 from both sides. And X equals 6. Alright, so then I put my answer together as 6. 3, negative 4. Alright. Oh, that one wasn't as long, guys, because we were able to eliminate two variables all at once. All right, let's take a look at a practice problem. So why don't you pause it here and then practice it on your own. All right, so let's get going here. Um, it looks like I can easily, well, there's all kinds of options here. Let's, um, let's go with the Z because these guys right here are already matched up. So I can, I can quickly eliminate these by adding these two together. So if I add these two together, I'm going to get 6 plus 2 is 8X. And then this is going to give me a negative Y. And then add these together, and I'm going to get uh, 32. So I use these two. So let's use um, let's use the middle the middle one and the bottom one here. And again, it's all up to you what you want to do. Uh, I'm going to multiply this by two because it's easy to cancel these out. So I'm going to rewrite that here as 12x minus 4y minus 2z equals 32. I'm going to add straight down now. We're going to get 13x minus 3y, z's cancel out, 52. I'm going to rewrite this guy up here. 13x minus 3y equals 52. Now we're going to need to multiply the top one by 3 there to make sure that we get, um, well, let's do by negative 3 because negative 3 will give us that positive right there. So I'm going to rewrite it right underneath. Um, negative 3 is going to be negative 24x plus 3y equals 90, negative 96. Okay, and then I'm going to add straight down. So what I did was I multiplied by the negative 3 and wrote it down here. Okay, so uh, these cancel out here, and I get, looks like uh, negative uh, 9, uh, no, negative 11x, sorry. Negative 11x is equal to um, negative 44. All right, so x is equal to positive 4. And then I'm going to plug this one back in here, right there. And I'm going to get 8 times positive 4 minus y equals 32. Okay, and then that's going to give me a 32 minus y equals 32. So y is 0. Oh, that's nice. And then we're going to plug those two guys in, let's say, the bottom one right here. So we're going to get 4 plus... Um, 0 plus 2z equals 20. So 2z equals, subtract 4 from both sides, you get 16, z equals 8. Okay, so we got 4 comma 0 comma 8 is our answer. All right. Okay, so I, I don't have much time left on this video because I don't want to make this video too long, um, but we have a, a, a word problem here. And uh, I'm going to just quickly show you how to set up the equations. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll make another video on looking at a couple of word problems using systems of equations. Um, so the sum of three numbers is, is negative 10. Okay, so we're going to have x plus y plus z equals negative 10, right? Three numbers. The second number, we'll call the second number y, is, is, is so that's equals, four times the sum of the first number which is x and the third number which is z okay so we're going to have uh, y equals four parentheses x plus z so that's the second equation and the sum of the first number and twice the second number so the sum of the first number and twice the second number is equal to negative seven okay so that's the um, that's you know setting that up and we can use if we wanted to you we can use substitution we can plug this in here um, you know right here we'll plug this here and we'll get an XZ equation um, and then we can plug it in here and we get an XZ equation and solve okay uh, but again I'll, I'll do this on another video I'll actually do a couple of these guys on another video on applications all right all right so uh, catch you later guys thanks for something by and taking a listen